Good morning. Yes, I was in Uxbridge actually yesterday before the vote and I'm back here this Lovely. morning speaking to Thank people you. all about it. And I have to say, there's still a lot of support there for the Prime Minister. And in some ways, that's actually not surprising. I mean, this has been a very safe Tory seat ever since it was created in 2010. And I think it's important to stress that even if the Prime Minister had lost last night's vote, he still would have stayed on for the MP for Uxbridge and Rise It. So it wouldn't have been a change there. But I think still, when I've been speaking to people out and about on the street. There's still a lot of support for him, but many of them are saying that they believe his days are numbered. In the beginning, when he started, he was doing some good things, but um, now uh, he's doing a lot of mistakes. And I think this uh, COVID uh, or this lockdown party was the the last uh, <laughs> mistake for me. Like he should he should be um, what's the word dismissed or should be removed. But they gave a board to to, to stay. But I think he will not stay for long or all in the elections. Probably he will not, he will not win the, the next elections. I think it's uh, very doubtful that he can survive this. I really do. Because he, um, you know, there's too many voting against him for him to be a, a credible leader anymore. He, the part is obviously disunited at the moment. And... I think he let the country down. And uh, at the time that everyone who stayed at home and they were trying to protect each other by isolating themselves. He was partying. And a lot of people, they say, OK, vaccination and everything, but that's not all. It just let people down completely because he was encouraging people not to go out. But at the same time, he was partying. And I, uh, it's just unbelievable. So Boris Johnson's still got your vote? Always. Always. If they, if they try and get him out, I will not vote at all. I won't vote for Lib Dems, Green Party, Labour, definitely not Labour anyway, or even Tories then. No. Uh, they have a mandate to get rid of somebody they don't like. It's all about like and dislike. All right, he does stretch the truth a bit, but all of them do. That was some people in Uxbridge speaking to me this morning. So you can still see there's a, quite a, a variety of opinion there. But one thing that actually did strike me when I was speaking to some people yesterday is the frustration that many of them have had with him as a local MP. And, so, and I suppose that's some of the challenges, I guess, of when your local MP is also their prime minister. Many of them saying we have barely seen him around the streets coming to hustings. A lot of people really frustrated about that and saying he's obviously too preoccupied, particularly when there's scandals in Westminster with Partygate and things like that. But but I suppose the real concern could be that Boris Johnson, he's lucky that there isn't a general election for a couple of years, but it's very easy to focus on the national politics that are going on in the country. But remember that the people in this area will also be the ones voting for him. And if he doesn't do enough to win back their support here, it could be a problem when it hits them in the ballot box.